nerdy dude stuff. Bink! What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video about cryptocurrency and stuff. If this is your first time on the channel, please take a moment to consider subscribing, turning on the bell notification, and liking this video as primarily we focus on D-pin projects, plug and play crypto miners, and a little fun other things here and there. No, this is not a beer. We're officially three weeks without having a beer, and man, I'm going crazy, but it is a Celsius because I need a little bit of an energy kick, and I figured why not bring it on camera since we haven't you know, actually had a drink in a while, and that's kind of our trend, and also not a sponsor by Celsius. So anyway, cheers to you guys. Mm. Now, today, we're going to be talking about, about a month ago, we got into uh, meme coins. I'll tell you the full story probably at the end of this video, because I want to get into the actual meat and potatoes. But a month ago, we got into some meme coins. We had some good successes, and we had a little bit of uh, uh, a downfall, but we're still in profit, which is excellent. But I just thought maybe I should probably back out of that game until today. So we've actually looking into a meme coin. Uh, one of the so one of the followers, loyal followers of the meme coin, like reached out to me on Discord yesterday and said, "Hey, I encourage you to research this. Like, I like your content. I've been watching you for three years. I encourage you to research this." And I actually did. So I spent more than ninety seven seconds researching. Uh, crow with a knife last night and I wanted to do today's video as kind of like a little bit of a tease into going forward to see what we have is this going to be the lightning in a bottle that we're looking forward to uh, that we can probably maybe is it one of those put like a thousand bucks in and walk out as a millionaire type scenarios I don't know we'll see other than that let's just pull up a little bit remember memes are the meme coins are a very volatile space uh, especially with the story I'll tell you at the end about Tarth Pepe coin when I got into that and how things could just happen overnight, rug pulls, and things could vanish. But I don't want to start the video off as a Debbie Downer. I'd rather get into that after we go over uh, some of the other things uh, with Crow with a Knife and the Caw Caw token and all that jazz. So let's just jump right to it. If those of you are sitting there asking yourselves what exactly is a meme coin, essentially it's just a meme like you see on screen, the crow with a knife, which was originally posted by Snoop Dogg, I believe, in 2017, saying you know it's a rough neighborhood when the crows have knives or something like that. So it's actually based off of a meme. And that's the one thing that I was kind of targeting this time around when I was looking into jumping in and saying, screw it, I'll throw 300 bucks into crow with a knife, why not? Because when I got into the previous meme coin, it wasn't really based off of any memes other than the Pepe meme and then kind of its own spin on things. And eh, anyway, so that's that's the first thing. And that's based off of blockchain. You know, they've got them on uh, the the B the Binance, um, the BSB token, Solano. And most of the reasons of Solano's major growth in the past couple of months is because of the meme coin craze where Solano pretty much went from like twelve dollars to two hundred and fifteen dollars at its all time high. And now it's lingering around one forty. And that was driven primarily because a lot of the meme coins are on the Solano blockchain and that exploded that growth. Well, the unique thing about Crow with a knife is that this is the first meme token token that's on the Kronos network. And if you're familiar with Kronos, you know that that is the token that crypto.com is operating off of, which I'm going to segue into that this token is actually also listed on crypto.com. So there's another positive flag that I was looking for when looking into this because I made some good solid profit on something like Book of Meme, which was listed on crypto.com. And then now we have uh, the CAW token listed on crypto.com as of, I believe, last week. So the token's only been around for about a month and it's already listed on BitMart and crypto.com. So those are some positive DGEN signs for me to jump in and try this out because now it has a solid foundation so remember do your own research i have the tweet the tweet here where you can find the crypto.com list so if you're not following me on twitter slash x go ahead and do that there should be it's at nerdy dude stuff you can find me but i do have the crypto.com link here so you can do a little bit more of your own research and this kind of breaks every the explanation on everything and their crypto.com explanation is a lot more raw on the data and a lot more face forward on the information you're looking for versus just like oh this coin is going to change the future because because it's going to solve the AI algorithm of building human amputee biomechanical parts on the blockchain and blah, blah, blah. No, it straight up says right now there's no utility for the token other than being a big meme coin, a marketing type you know, piece. And some of the successes of these tokens are based off of their community, which... If you take a couple minutes to look at their community, they have over 6,000 people on their Discord. They have a handful. Oh my gosh, my phone's blown up today. They have a huge handful of people over on their X slash Twitter. And so it's a lot more of a stable community. And it's been in the past month. And all that information is broken down on one of the reasons why crypto.com, outside of the listing fees, uh, approved to list the CAW token. And it was the first meme token on the Cronus network. So, hmm. 
You can go over all the information right here. It's going to give you a solid breakdown how much the price is. It launched in March of 2024. It saw a 2.5k percent increase. Could we have missed the ball on that one? Could we not? I don't know. It's all speculation in the market, but it could go up. We'll pull up a chart here in just a minute, but you could find all the information you need. The tokenomics, there's 777 trillion, 777 billion, 777 million, 777 thousand, 777 tokens in circulation with over 769 trillion of them already in circulation. When you go through and you look at the devs and some of these meme coin projects and you see how many bags and who holds the most tokens, I believe the dev slash creator only owns like four percent and crypto.com i believe owns about 18 to 20 percent with what i was looking up last night so that gives a lot of comfort knowing that the dev doesn't hold like 50 percent or more of the token and then it's going to do a big rug pull on everything so anyway you can go to their website the website's very basic crow with a knife.com you've got your meme right there probably you know the last youtuber to talk about it what does it even mean what are the meme it is swappable and bridgeable on the following networks that you see on the screen but really i just took my holdings on crypto.com on the actual mobile app that's where i have it right here so i can always have the listings and everything's really easy and it's a quick step by step and if there's any interest in the project maybe i'll do a step-by-step -step video for the new people and the people that are only following me for plug and play miners and what they can do with their cryptocurrencies and how to get into the meme coin game, whether they want to get into this one or another meme that they find fun and entertaining. But anyway, you got their entire site breakdown. If we go on to CoinGecko right here, you can get a little bit more of the information. You can see that I just made that 777 trillion comment circulating supply with 769 total being out there. Uh, right now, it's got a 76 million market cap with almost 4 million in trading volume. So these are a couple things I looked at. Like the market cap looks a little higher than some of the other meme coins that I jumped into so really that quick like 10x 50x or whatever might be might seem a little harder if I'm not getting at like 1 million that jumps to 76 million but we could probably see a 1 billion market cap on this project in the long run in the long term hold but this is what you like to see right here as well a high volume of trading so that means that in the past 24 hours four million dollars worth of crow or of the caw token have been traded back and forth versus some other the meme tokens only have like 161,000 in trade volume or 78,000 in trade volume. But so you want to look at those kind of things and then we can go into the markets and see where you can swap these. The biggest one right now is crypto.com and then we also have a few others there and you can see where the most of the action is. So it looks like most of the action on the 24 hour volume is right here in finance, but this has been listed recently on crypto.com, so we're going to take some time to watch that probably grow and then you can always do some price and i don't do technical analysis on tokens or anything along those lines we know that but you can always look at deck screener it's also on bitmart and you can see some of the activity this is on the day-to-day -day chart and you could see that it had a massive pump and then a little bit of a sell-off and then another massive and a massive and that was like three one two three four like four days ago last week but i have a feeling we're going to see another one of these green like spikes tomorrow not insider information, just a feeling. Definitely. I think it's going to be listed on something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I have a feeling that we're going to get another one of these spikes. So very interested to see if that's going to happen. But again, meme coins, very volatile marketplace, a lot of fun. And you know, the communities are always fun. If you jump in the Discord, of course, there's like memes and posts and everything that's flying off the handle. And it's just, you know, maybe something different because how many times can I talk about plugging in my demo device or setting up my geode, which geode has been doing killer for me. I should probably do a follow up video on that. I'm sitting at about 13 to 14 tokens a day and I'm well into ROI territory on that one. But anyway, uh, you know, so we're kind of mixing it up a little bit to see what happens. Is this gonna be the token that's gonna make us a billion? How many tokens do I even have? I'll show that on screen. Hang on one second. Boop, 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 boop. Pulling up my crypto.com mobile app. <laughs> We have a total of 3 billion, 312 million of the CAW tokens. And I'll show that right here. So right there, boom. So I don't think it could go up to a penny because then that would mean that we'd be looking at like a $7 trillion market cap on uh, the token. And only Bitcoin's at like 1.2 or 2.2 trillion or something along those lines. But even if this went up to like a fraction of a penny, what do I have here? So let's see. If it goes up to like a tenth of a penny, let's let's just play around with that. Let's see if this goes up to a tenth of a penny. What happens? Three billion, three hundred, nope, twelve million. One, two, three. One, two, three. So if that goes up to a tenth of a penny, we'll just put it there. I'm a millionaire. Let's let's get it to that. 
okay? So I think that was around the time when I got into Book of Meme was at that point zero zero one. Uh, let's get it to that. Would that be realistic in the market cap? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So trillion, billion, million, thousand, oons. So hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. Yeah. So if it can get up to a 777 billion market cap, then we're retiring as millionaires with 3.1, 3.3 million dollars, which would be awesome. So we're gonna do a jump cut to the full screen. I'll tell you kind of what happened with uh, Tarth, the Tarth Pepe coin experience and why I decided to get back into uh, a meme coin, especially with Crow and Knife, because I could potentially be a millionaire if we get up there. Even if it gets up to uh, a half of that. Let's see if it does. Three, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So even if it does point zero 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 five, we're still a millionaire. Oh, we can do that. Let's do that. I'm fine with that. I don't want any degree. Let's get up to point zero 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 five. Let's do that. Anyway, jump cut. Anywho, that's going to do it for me today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me on Telegram, Twitter, or Discord. Preferably Discord, maybe Twitter X, but again, preferably Discord. And now, with that said, if you were just here for the call and the crow of the knife content, then thank you very much for watching. Please follow, subscribe, link in the description, blah, blah, blah. But to continue on with the Tarth Pepe coin and the last meme coin experience, I just wanted to take another couple minutes in the video and just kind of go over that, as I did intend to do a follow-up video to the posting of the Tarth Pepe coin video that I did uh, about a month ago, and then literally like three days later, the whole thing bottomed out and rugged, and I my like 500 or 600 was worth like, like $18. I think I got $18 out of it. Uh, but I'm not going to take the video down because I'm unapologetically me when I post things. I want to make sure I leave them there. Uh, the only time that stuff has ever been really removed from the channel is when YouTube strikes me or gives me strikes on certain content and I go through uh, and I have to take that content down. For example, um, freebitco.in. I love that site. I've been using it since 2017. Anytime I post a video on it, YouTube either flags it, strikes it, or makes me take it down. So with that said, anything that I usually post, I leave up. I did it. The actions have been done. So I'm not going to sit there and say that I didn't try to promote and get you know interest drummed up for Tarth Pepe coin, and then the whole thing crashed. So I'm going to take the video down. I posted the video. It's going to be there. So anyway, my experience was uh, long story short. I got into I was just following like we'll just do the meme coin thing real quick. I was on Facebook in the cryptocurrency investing group. I saw someone post like just a stupid picture and like had three posts on it. Book of meme coin, this is gonna be the next big thing. This is gonna be insane. You know, just like blah, blah, blah. So I ended up putting $50 into book of meme like as soon as I saw that post and within 48 hours, that $50 was worth about 650 or so. And so I took that 650 and I started to see it dip down a little bit and I withdrew it and you know now I'm up $600. So I took my $50 out which I was very very happy with. And so then I turned around and I put uh, $50 into uh, another token. What was it? Uh bad luck baby. So I put 50, I put 500 into bad luck baby and I let that sit and that turned into 1300, which was awesome. So uh, now I'm up from and I so I put 500 in I'm up to 1300 not in a 1300 profit. So technically at this point, I have 50. I pulled my 50 out. I pulled, I kept an extra 100 because I put 500 into Bad Luck Brian, which then turned into 1300 So then what I ended up doing was I took about the 300 I tucked that aside. I think I bought Solana with it, and I'm just taking Solana over on crypt, on coin market, or uh, Coinbase, just letting that sit. And then I took 1000 and I put uh, 50 I put half into... Um, Giga, Giga Chad token, and then the other into Tarth Pepe. And then um, I think both of them kind of fizzled out a little bit. And so then I pulled out of my, I pulled out of Giga, and this is over a month ago. Uh, I pulled out uh, the Giga and it was like down just a little bit, which wasn't too crazy. And then I took that splitting up and I put the half of that into Tarth Pepe coin and then the remainder into uh, my Coinbase. And I think I just did it as USD because I was putting back my USDC that I had used to purchase my X1C carbon. So anyway, it was all in Tarth Pepe coin. And I was like, you know, just the amount of the rating that they were doing on Reddit posts and on like X posts and stuff. 
And then going into their Telegram, I was like, oh, it's a very active community. This went from like zero to a thousand members in a day. And then I was very excited for it. So I let it sit. I talked to him. I did the video. And then shortly, two days after the video, rug pull. So I was getting on and I was like, you know what? We're just going to set it and forget it. I did the video. I'll probably do a follow up in a week. I'm not even going to think about it. And then I jumped on Telegram like two days later and I noticed that there was a lot of like negativity in the Telegram. But then I had a random invite into another Telegram and it was like, oh, the real Tarth Pet Bitcoin. We're going to be bringing it back. And then I realized that they rug pulled. And they're going to try it again with another token under the Tarth Pepe flag because they said something with the first one was bub but anyway and that kind of like pulled me out of the meme coin game until i was uh flagged for the attention to look into this one today and i said you know what yeah i'll give it a go i've been holding on to my geode mining my fry mining my helium mining my demo mining and stuff so i'll take a couple of bucks out of that and i will i'll be a dj and go back into a meme coin so that's that anyway Thank you very much for watching if you made it to this point. Um, you know, if you guys want to have fun, remember, always do your own research. Never invest in anything you're, you, you're not willing to lose. So if you've got an extra couple of hundred bucks, you're like, yeah, you know, it's just sitting here. It's profit from X, Y, Z. I want to do 50-50, split it, and then keep the other 50. Absolutely. But if you're sitting there thinking that you want to drop in $500 to hopefully be a millionaire in a week, and that $500 required you to, you know, put it on two different credit cards and sell a couple of games at GameStop and then go pawn off some gold teeth or sell some plasma and blood, then don't don't be stupid on that okay anyway like comment subscribe turn on the bell notification all that good stuff i'm oprias and we'll see you guys next time